Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. It is March 3rd of 2021, and for those of you keeping track, because again, I might not be posting these in the same order that I filmed them, this is beer number three of the evening, and this is Campfire Amplifier, also from Dogfish Head. We just did the, um, the Dogfish Head in Booth Bay Craft Brewery collaboration Osprey. And yeah, Campfire Amplifier, this is a milk stout brewed with graham crackers, cinnamon, marshmallows. Oh, marshmallows with cocoa powder and vanilla, vanilla beans added. Ooh, interesting. And the art on the bottle is part of the Off-Centered Art Series featuring Ryan Besh. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are art fans and know who Ryan Besh is, but that little wolf, wolf playing the guitar, the character there, hang on, eh, there. There's a slight delay on the camera, plus I'm doing the mirror image thing. But yeah, that, that little wolf kind of looking thing playing the guitar, maybe it's a horse, I don't know. Um, it reminds me of somebody else's art style, and I can't quite place it. So maybe I'm thinking of the same guy, and he's done comics or comic books before. But anyway, <clears throat> you art fans will probably know that. 6.5% um, ABV. I don't see an IBU rating on it, but uh, if I do find one, I'll post it in the comments on the videos. Hmm. All right, so Campfire Amplifier, a milk stout, already off to a good start, brewed with graham crackers, cinnamon, marshmallows with cocoa powder and vanilla beans added. All right, I gave you the rundown on that already once. So, the fact that I'm repeating myself already might be an indicator that it's time to slow down. Ooh, 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 ooh. look how dark and <laughs> beautiful that is. Oh, yes. And it's quite effervescent for such a dark beer. Those bubbles that are coming up are very small. I put a little bit of a head on it. Oh, and I can see, oh, oh. Speaking of campfires, I don't know if this is gonna come through pardon, on the camera, but that is a very dark, almost midnight black beer. There's there's undertones of brown. It is it is a brown, but it is so dark. But the light coming up from that pure white LED underneath is hitting the bubbles just right. It looks like a fucking starry night to me. And again, I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, but those little itty bitty bubbles are catching the light just right. It looks like a starry night against that dark, dark brown, almost black background. That's beautiful. That was beautiful. One second here. <sighs> Remind me to turn that on in a minute. <clears throat> I just turned the heat off because it was about to kick in and I'm tired of interrupting my videos and trying to kill time for the 10 minutes that the fucking heat runs. But I don't want to forget to turn it back on because I've done that before and it sucks when you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's 50 degrees in here. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm putting the light back under that. I don't care if it comes through on the camera or not. <sighs> Man, I, I'm mesmerized by that. I've had some dark beers that I've put this light under before. By the way, thanks again, Fingus, for the, uh, the suggestion on the light under the beer because it's, I think it's worked out really well. But I've never had a beer this dark where I could see the bubbles. And I think I'm just seeing the ones on the outer edge of the glass. But uh, it is mesmerizing seeing the light just bounce around in those bubbles. And again, it looks like a free-flowing starry night. That is, that is beautiful. And again, it, it adds to the whole campfire theme on this beer. God, I can't wait till it's warm enough out to start doing fires in the backyard again. Anyway, I digress. I should probably slow down.
Hmm. I'm not getting I'm not getting a lot of an aroma off of that. Um, maybe hints of charcoal and cinnamon. Not in an not in an unpleasant way, but it's very very neutral. But on the back end, just like some some hints of smoky char and maybe some cinnamon coming through. But overall, not getting much of an aroma off of it. Oh. Maybe a hint of like toasted marshmallow. A very slight hint of toasted marshmallow. It's mostly just that that char, smoky char and, and his cinnamon. And then maybe a very, very faint hint of toasted marshmallow, but all of those aromas are extremely faint. Mostly getting nothing. So not a bad sign, just that's the way it is. Wow. I, immediately out of the gate, a wow is, this is a full five out of five for me, just because I'm getting that reaction. But let me walk you through why I'm getting that reaction, despite the neutral aroma. Up front, I'm getting smoky char. Like sitting in front of an actual campfire that woody, smoky char, smoke in the air flavor, aroma, and that, that, that translates into a flavor. It's, it's got a medium mouthfeel, by the way. It's It's got some weight to it, but it's not overwhelming. Just nice and medium. Mm. <clears throat> but that smoky char gives way to a sweetness, a nice, clean, crisp sweetness crisp sweetness where I can imagine marshmallows, cinnamon, the cocoa maybe not so much in terms of cocoa, but more of like a really, really dark, dark, um, heavy cocoa, like a 90% cocoa, um, cacao or whatever, however the fuck you pronounce it, was really dark, heavy chocolate bars where they try to make it so dark that it's basically like eating charcoal anyway. But hints of chocolate there, um, hints of cocoa. But again, that, 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 that just that. <clears throat> oh, that heavy smoky char that gives way to a cinnamon tinged sweetness. Oh, and that's, there's definitely some toasted marshmallow in there. Um, I think the last time I had a beer that compared to toasted marshmallow in this way was Stay Puffed from uh, Barreled Souls. And I can't remember what I rated that as, but that was also a very solid beer. Um, but yeah, I'm just, it's, it's a combination overall of that visually mesmerizing effect that the bubbles were giving me, burp, pardon, with the LED light and looking like a nice starry night. The almost absent aroma, but just very subtle wood smoke and wood fire aroma. And then with the taste, again, that, that heavy smoky char up front, that's like the most pleasant part of a wood fire in your backyard, minus anything negative about it. It doesn't feel like there's smoke blowing out your lungs because the wind shifted or anything like that. It's that very pleasant part of it. And then that nice sweetness. Mm. Like a toasty sweetness with hints of cinnamon and 
very dark roasty cocoa. I mean, just overall, when I'm drinking this beer, I can, I'm instantly transported to sitting around a backyard campfire. It, it, you kids of the 80s and 90s, you'll know what I'm talking about. I talk about the, the York peppermint patty commercials where they, they, they take a bite of the York. I feel like I'm transported to a mountaintop in the Indies. Uh, and, you know, it's similar to that, except I can picture myself sitting right around the fire pit in the backyard with people roasting marshmallows around me. The smell, the taste, the aroma, everything in the air about it is just fucking amazing. And if you couple that with the visual effect of the starry night sky that I was getting, this beer <clears throat> is the perfect campfire beer, and I wish I had one going right now. But in the absence of being able to go outside in the freezing weather and well, it's probably two feet of snow back there anyway um this is the closest thing i'm gonna get until this spring when things thaw out um smooth easy to drink nice medium mouthfeel again it's, it's a full-on five out of five from me because of the overall experience of the beer and the flavor being incredible i just That's where I'm at. Hmm. But that's just my opinion. Hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about uh, Dogfish Head's campfire amplifier. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks. Here's looking forward to fucking spring. Cheers. I'm going to take my time with the rest of this when I turn the heat back on. Let it run for a few minutes before I pour the next beer. <sighs>